27 minutes. China shatters human spaceflight record with space handshake. How China's breakthrough just upended Western technology. In the deep expanse of space, 380 kilometers above Earth, where there is no air to sustain flight and no gravity to bind motion, two satellites performed a breathtaking space ballet. They closed the distance at a near snail's pace, just 0.01 meters per second, completing a precision docking maneuver in a total time of just 27 minutes from the command launch. For context, the U.S. first achieved satellite docking in a laborious process that took seven grueling hours. The Soviet Union, a pioneer in the field, eventually pared that down to 3.5 hours. This Chinese feat has undoubtedly pressed the super fast forward button on the global space industry. Who would have imagined that China, once held back by Western technological blockades and struggling to start in space, could now shatter a human spaceflight record and leave the world in awe? The core of this space, magic trick, lies in the innovative solution of asymmetric orbit docking. Under the traditional mode, Western space systems often spend days, or even weeks, executing complex orbital maneuvers to bring the target satellite and the docking vehicle onto the same orbital plane to wait in line. This is like merging vehicles from different lanes onto a single road. It's time-consuming, increases fuel consumption, and raises the risk of collision. Chinese researchers took a different path, pioneering the asymmetric orbit docking technology. It's akin to two space, express trains, speeding along at different velocities and orbital altitudes. There is no need for drastic braking or deliberate adjustment of orbital inclination. Relying solely on ultra-precise trajectory calculation and dynamic compensation control, they achieved millimetric precision alignment, while both vehicles were moving at high speed, a zero-error, zero-collision process. This leapfrog innovation not only drastically shortens mission cycles but also increases orbital resource utilization several times over, serving as a prime example of shortcut technology, revolution in spaceflight. As the technical parameter of centimeter level precision jumps off the page, this silent technological revolution has shattered global perceptions. The U.S.'s vaunted military GPS precision has long been stable at 0.1 meters, yet the Chinese space team has compressed the error margin to its extreme threshold with millimeter level obsession. Even more astonishing, the entire docking procedure is completely free from human intervention, achieving full automated closed-loop control from capture to lockdown. Recall 1966. When Apollo 8's Neil Armstrong performed a manual docking and an error of 0.3 meters caused the spacecraft to shake violently, nearly ending in a space tragedy. Today, China's spacecraft has performed a threading the needle feat in the vast cosmos. This signifies not only the pursuit of extreme precision but, with a key of indigenous innovation, a total demolition of the West's half-century-long monopoly on space technology. The Sky Hook they grabbed holds much more than just a docking ring. It marks the historic turning point of China's space program from catching up to overtaking. Next, let's dissect just how arrogant the West used to be, how many, industry rules, China's 27-minute feet overturned, and what tangible benefits it delivers to the entire world. 1. Western century of monopoly, the fast-forward button, 300 dockings couldn't find. The U.S. and Soviet Union began practicing space docking in the 1960s, conducting over 300 combined attempts to define the four-step process. Ground guidance, automatic homing, final approach, and seal. In 1965, NASA's Gemini 6 and 7 spent seven hours just flying in formation without daring to actually dock. In 1967, the Soviet Union's Cosmos 188 and 186 achieved the first automated docking, which took a total of 3.5 hours and involved a slow dance in the same orbit. Europe's ATV spacecraft, launched in 2008, had to buy its docking mechanism from Russia and rely on U.S. relay satellites for navigation. Japan's HTV was even more constrained. It had to wait near the space station and be towed into docking by a robotic arm. Commentary Analysis This breakthrough goes far beyond the simple definition of curve overtaking. 
Chinese space engineers simply chose to forge a new race track. The long-term monopoly held by the West was not just on the technology itself, but on the industry barriers, constructed through layers of technological blockades and complex standard systems. This is akin to medieval guilds deliberately concealing their proprietary techniques, or a baker hiding the secret of the yeast formula, forcing others to use inefficient sourdough methods while they alone dominate the market with mechanized production lines. In contrast, China's Beidou team, through a spirit of open sharing, offers its core technological achievements to the world. This is like making a precious yeast recipe public, not only breaking the shackles of technological hegemony but also pushing the entire industry toward a more efficient and universally beneficial new future. 2. Precision Revolution The Face Slap Moment from Meter Level Sufficiency 2. Centimeter Level Necessity the U.S. has long boasted that its military GPS precision is 0.1 meters, while intentionally crippling the civilian signal to 5 meters under the guise of national security. Europe's Galileo system struggled for over a decade, suffering an outage in 2021, with its precision nowhere near Beidou's. China's space program has now pushed docking precision to the centimeter level, meaning global navigation accuracy can triple. This means drivers won't have to shuffle back and forth looking for a parking spot. Agricultural drones can spray pesticides with precision down to the individual plant, and disaster relief can pinpoint a mobile phone buried under debris. The ultimate irony, NASA live stream comments were filled with Unbelievable! Even though the agency once refused to share orbital data with China. Commentary analysis, tracing back to the space race era, Western space powers tightly controlled high-precision navigation technology. China, however, went from solving the problem of existence with Beidou 1 to achieving global networking with Beidou 3, offering 0.1-meter orbital precision and nanosecond-level timing precision free to the world. During Pakistan's flood relief efforts, Beidou's short message function created a lifeline for communication cut areas. African nations have used the Beidou system for precision agricultural irrigation, resulting in significant increases in food production. This is like the ancient Silk Road caravans, which didn't monopolize the trade route but paved the way for mutual access. China is breaking more than just a technological monopoly. It is redefining the value coordinates of international space cooperation through the practice of space infrastructure universalization. When space technology becomes a shared, digital commons, for all humanity, every corner of the global village can bask in the dawn of technological progress. 3. Rules Restructuring The Turning Point From Western Say-So To Global Consensus For too long, the rules of space have been dictated by the West, orbital priority determined by who grabbed it first, no compensation standards for debris pollution, and everyone calculating collision warnings independently. In 2021, U.S. Starlink satellites twice approached China's space station, and the U.S. offered no formal explanation. In 2025, when U.S. and Chinese satellites again faced a collision risk, it was China that proactively proposed my side maneuvers to resolve the crisis. China's breakthrough in orbital maneuver technology is akin to gaining the authority of a Space traffic controller, where the West used to be the traffic cop, China is now the one who can build the traffic lights. Experts from the European Space Agency openly stated that China can reconstruct space rules. This statement carries both shock and a sense of reluctant acceptance. 4. Technological equity, the space admission ticket for developing nations. The West has long used technological barriers to Low and lock. Developing nations, oil producing countries in the Middle East were denied refining technology and forced to sell crude oil. In space, the control is even tighter. Europe's ATV had to buy its docking mechanism from Russia, and India only completed its first docking in 2024, still needing to seek approval from the US and Russia. In contrast, China's Beidou system proactively offers services to Belt and Road nations. This centimeter-level precision technology makes high-precision navigation affordable for smaller nations. African farmers no longer rely on guesswork for planting, 
and South American fishermen can precisely locate fishing zones. The U.S., in 2024, is still pursuing exclusionary industrial policies, terrified of others snatching away its piece of the pie. Commentary analysis. True technological advancement is not about the bragging rights of I have what you don't, but the mindset of I have and I share. The West treats technology as a weapon, China treats it as a bridge. This 27-minute breakthrough doesn't just smash the wall of Western monopoly. It shatters the space ceiling for developing nations. Just as Western nations once monopolized electricity technology, China is now bringing solar power technology to the world. Technological equity is the correct way for humanity to explore the cosmos. This 27-minute space handshake is not China's solo dance. It is an invitation to all of humanity. Space should not be the backyard of a few nations, nor should it have the walls of technological hegemony. What surprises will Beidou bring next? Can space rules be completely rewritten? Follow me, and next time I'll break down the centimeter-level secret of China's satellites and see how long the West can keep up its rhetoric.